Hey guys, it's Philip. Hey, I just wanted to um, say hello, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you all. I have um, a few things I wanted to show you as a final video probably of the year, but I had some things kind of backing up on me, and I uh, had to uh, put them off because I had another issue, and that was I got this thing stomach flu uh, right on the Christmas day. So I was sick. So, anyway, I'm better now and i um, thankful for that. I am uh, been smoking my GBD and in it I have some uh, blend that I received from Giovanni from Geopipes and I've been enjoying that this morning. But I'm going to set it aside here while I show you a few things. First of all, I had a purchase on my birthday that my wife got along with my uh, actual mother-in-law, if you can believe that. Um, she wanted to give me a little money, so I put it towards the pipe. That's what I did. But um, This one, and I'm going to probably not say this properly, but uh, it is a Mastro Grandolfo pipe. And coming in that was some pipe cleaners. And this is a little note of Certificate of Authenticity from Mastro himself, and it gives the dimensions and all that kind of stuff, which is cool, the full depth and all that. Um, I saw this pipe online after, I believe it was Patrick the Pipe had mentioned his name on his videos or acknowledged or shouted out, or I can't recall exactly what, but I went directly to his site. Thank you for that, Patrick, um, and saw one that I liked within my budget and here it is. Got a little blue to it, if you can see that. It's rusticated, blasted, whatever you say there. And wonderfully crafted. It's a big, it's larger pipe. That's why I liked it. I've been smoking Virginias in it. I found a new affinity for Virginias. I have some more on order from Chief Katuna. Should be here on Monday. I like his Virginia blend. Um, tamper that I'm using today in my GBD is my Secret Agent 1306's tamper that he sold to me way early on. I still use that and cherish that, so thank you, Scott, for that. That segues right into my next pipe. This was commissioned by uh, Scott for my Christmas gift for my wife. I have not smoked this yet. As I had said, I was sick. I've been smoking pipe uh, a little bit, but not. I didn't want to, without my palate being correct, I didn't want to corrupt the op you know, opportunity to enjoy this new pipe. So I, here it is. I may have showed this to you before. I may, you know, since I've been ill, I may be dazed and confused. If I did, I apologize. I'm just so proud of it. I think I did a box opening on it now that I think about it, but I have yet to smoke it, so I'm just going to give you another little peek at it. I really am proud of it. Thanks, Scott, for that. Again, that's SMA Pipes. <coughs> okay, now this brings me to my most recent acquisition. Wonderful gentleman that we all know, Gio Fani. And he's from Canada. He gave me a uh, opportunity to purchase a pipe recently and I took it and uh, had been on a waiting list with him and was very thankful that it, um, it came time for mine. Folks, be patient. I know that he's trying very diligently to grow his business and also to accommodate us folks on YouTube. So um, 
thank you for helping me, Geo, get one of your wonderful creations. He just indicates to me that he's thankful that I've got this, purchased this pipe, and that it, hopefully it will, I will enjoy it with many minim, years of minimal, memorable smokes. Wishing you all the best in the holiday season. So, thank you for that. Same to you. Um, he also sent me some tobacco um, as a little extra bonus. Aaron Moore mixture, which I have opened this because I got it right before Christmas, I think, or something, and I wanted to taste it. It's a mild, it seems mild to me, has a nice taste to the palate, um, but I'm still getting to know that, so I'll maybe talk about that more later. Uh, here is some pipe cleaner and a little carrying thing. Canadian pin. Thank you for that. Some chop. Oh, caramel. Caramel. Not sure what's in the black. I feel it's kind of soft, so I'm guessing that might be caramel too. I love caramel. Matches. And a pencil. Canadian pencil. And the pipe. Bam. Isn't that awesome? Nice little pipe. It's going to be good in the hand. Look at that on the top, bird's eye. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Not smoked it yet. So I will do that in the future. So that's caught me up now on a few things that I had wanted to share with you all. Want one more thing to show you that I thought this was really cool. If you have a Costco near you and you've been wondering how can you get something that could store your pipes and tobacco, because having someone build one, I've looked into it, you can spend thousands of dollars, seven, eight hundred dollars for something small, thousand for something a little bigger. Look at this. This was $3.99. It's two pieces from Costco. Hope you can see that. And then look at the bottom. drawers. Four drawers. With doors, glass doors. Little carriage type handles. Oh, I thought that was cool. Three ninety nine. It's a little bit money, but it's gonna work for me for a long, long time. Anyway, hope you all are doing well. Good to see you. Um, all on the the video, especially while I was sick, I could watch things, and it was really nice to see those. So, happy New Year to you all. Be safe. God bless.